Hey, Jonathan here. And are you lifting weights? Or are you thinking about adding weights into your workout routine? Well, if you are, I want you to watch this video because you could be making a big mistake that's hurting your athletic gains. And that's because in this video, we're gonna be talking about a question that we got asked, because this is another Ask the Taps. And this one comes from Free Dom, and he asks, does weightlifting help your athleticism and strength? And this is a really good question, especially if your goal is to be or to build functional strength and to become an athlete. And if you search online, you've probably seen two different sides of the argument. Some people say that if you're not lifting weights, you're going to be weak, scrawny, and just get pulverized by other people who lift weights as an athlete. And on the other side of the coin, you have people who say that if you're lifting weights, then you're only going to build big bulky muscles that's going to leave you uncoordinated, more susceptible to injuries, and cost you athletic gains. Well, you may be surprised with the answer we're going to share with you here in just a moment. And it may change the way you look at weights and the way you train from here on out. We're also going to share with you the five components that you must be training as an athlete. We're going to go over how top athletes in the past have trained, some of the best in the world, and we're also going to talk about how me and my brother personally train to be an athlete. First, let's break down the five components of an athlete and what you need to be trained to build athleticism. Now, some scientists will have subcategories, uh, even up to nine, but this is just a simple way to look at it and what we use for our teaching. First is coordination, and this is the ability to control your body to perform a task. And it doesn't matter if you're extremely strong or you know exactly what you need to do with your body if you're not coordinated you're still going to be awkward you're still going to be clumsy and you're not going to be able to perform the moves that you want to perform because you just don't have the control to do that two is strength and this is the ability to generate force with your muscles so for example if you if you're not strong it's going to be really hard to perform a lot of movements especially in parkour and things like this for example if you can't do a pull up or do a muscle up, it's gonna be hard to climb up walls and do things like this because you just don't have the strength to do it and you're gonna be weak. Three is speed. And this is the ability to move very rapidly. So if you don't have enough speed, you're gonna be very slow in your movement. You're gonna have a big problem with trying to generate power because we generate power with a combination of strength and speed. So you're not gonna be able to generate power and you're gonna be very slow. Four is endurance. And this, is the, this can be muscular endurance or cardiovascular endurance. Basically, your body's ability to resist fatigue. And if you don't have endurance, you're not going to be able to last. You're going to be doing a run or, or working out, and you're going to be huffing and puffing. You're going to be out of breath very quickly. And if you're in a sport, uh, your competition is going to be able to beat you very quickly because you just won't be able to last. Now, five is flexibility. And this one's probably the most ignored and that is the ability to with your joints to reach its full range of motion and if we can't if we aren't flexible we're going to be very stiff we're probably going to have some imbalances with our muscle groups so we're going to be more susceptible to getting injuries and also we're not going to be able to perform certain moves because we just don't have the capability to reach those shapes with our body so for example if we're trying to do a kong vault or a vaulting over something and we don't have the flexibility to pull our knees tight into our chest and keep good form, then we're not going to be able to perform that vault efficiently. And so that's going to hold us back a lot if we don't develop flexibility. So as an athlete, we need to be using exercises and workouts that target each of these and will unlock our full potential in each of these. So for example, if we're training yoga, yoga is mainly going to unlock our full potential in uh, primarily flexibility, some endurance while we're holding that pose, uh, a little bit of strength in those positions, and you know a slight bit of a little bit of coordination as well with the body to hit those certain positions and shapes. But mainly flexibility and I would say endurance. So, free dom, where do weights fit in? Because that's the question you were asking. Where do weights fit in? Are they and where do they help with athleticism? Well, weights is just uh, an easy way to add extra resistance onto our body or onto our muscles. So primarily, it's going to be focused on building strength. Now we will see some crossover with coordination, especially like if we're doing squats, we're going to build the coordination 
for our body to replicate this movement. We're also going to see a little bit of flexibility for going through the full range of motion with that lift. We're also going to see a little bit of increase in speed if we're working on explosive power. But mainly, weights are just an easy way to Im improve our strength. And so, it's important that if we're using weights, so to answer your question, weights can be a great way to enhance athletic performance. But the important thing is that we're also using other exercise and workouts that are going to target these other ones and unlock our full potential in these other ones. Because if we're just doing weights, we're going to lack a lot of extra coordination, we're going to lack a lot of endurance, and we're going to lack a lot of flexibility. So we're going to suffer as an athlete if we're just doing weights. So we need to make sure that we're using a good combination of different workouts and exercises. And if we're using weights, we want to use uh, the right exercises, the right lifts that are going to give us our, the biggest bang for our buck. So free dom, uh, if you're going to use weights, I would recommend using uh, free weights so that way you can work on stabilization. I'd also recommend doing Olympic lifts. So ones that are going to help also build a lot of coordination while you're building strength and also you're hitting a full range of motion so it's going to help with flexibility. So ones like deadlift, squat, power clean, some really strong lifts like that. And also mixing up how you use the weights. So doing uh, different types of sessions. So you could do circuit training so to where you're going to get a lot of great muscular and cardiovascular endurance if you're doing it correctly. Switching off by using heavy loads and also doing light loads. So light loads with a lot of reps so you can also target some endurance with that. And also speed if you're doing light loads and working on being very quick with it. So uh, if you're going to use weights, it's just important that you do it correctly. Now, what do professional athletes use? What are some of the top athletes in the world? What are they using to work out and do they use weights? Well, if we want to find professional athletes who have unlocked their full potential in each of these components and who consistently have ripped, sculpted physiques, then I wouldn't look any further than gymnastics. Gymnast uh, are pound for pound some of the strongest athletes in the world. And in order to be a high level gymnast, you have to unlock each of these components and develop, develop it to a very high level. And fortunately, some of our buddies were high level gymnasts. Uh, Jason Chu, or some of you might know him as Super Chu, you've probably seen him on some of our videos in our channel. He was a national level gymnast. He went and trained in Cirque du Soleil. He also is now currently a Hollywood stuntman and we got to personally see him crush some of the hardest obstacle courses in the world. When we worked on Ninja Warrior together, we got to see him beast that course, and then we also ran the Navy SEAL Oak course together, and he literally blew past it. And this is touted as one of the hardest obstacle courses in the world. It was pretty amazing to see. And also our buddy Raj Bobsar. He was an Olympic medalist in 2008, the Beijing Olympics. about five tenths of a point. And so he can what give to these the judges guys, what were they doing to personally train to become some of the top athletes in the world? Were they using weights? And surprisingly, I guess to most people, and because when I go on all the forums and I, I was looking up uh, previously, most people just assume that uh, these Olympic athletes have to be lifting weights. Well, most of them don't use weights. Jason and Raj primarily used bodyweight exercises to build that immense strength and to build all of these components. If they did use weights, it was uh, mainly for maintenance and things like this, but primarily they trained body weight. So to be a high level athlete, you do not have to necessarily use weights. You can do it with just your body weight if you're doing the right exercises. Now for my brother and I, and probably for most of you, uh, you want the same type of body. You want a lean, sculpted, uh, athletic body that's well balanced and can perform you know, more of these advanced calisthenics and acrobatic movements. But what about other sports like football? Well, uh, s most of these athletes are, do add in a lot of weights and weights are a big portion of their training. But again, they still aren't just using weights. They're using a combination of, uh, of, the, of other exercises to target these other areas as well. And even in football, uh, Herschel Walker, for example, uh, who was one of the best players to ever play the game, 
and was an Olympic level athlete. He went into or joined the bobsledding team and also got into MMA afterwards. And so this guy's one of the best athletes of all time. And he's a big proponent of just using bodyweight exercises. So you don't have to necessarily use weights to become a high level athlete. Now for some disciplines it will make it easier to add in that extra resistance. And it can be a great option for athletes to build, again, to build that strength and to help in some of these areas. But we have to make sure that as an athlete that we aren't just using weights. So what do my brother and I personally use for our training? Well, we started off training at an early age with track and soccer. And with soccer, we were fortunate enough to have one of the top club coaches in the nation, Marcio Lete. And he was uh, played for the Brazilian indoor national team. He's coached professional players as well as World Cup athletes. Uh, you probably know Omar Gonzalez, who's one of our ex-teammates on our team and played the most recent World Cup against teams like Germany and things like this. And what we focused on our training, we didn't use any weights, what we focused on was agility drills, uh, conditioning, endurance. Basically, we used these, we focused on these different components and we just used body weight in order to do that and to apply it to our game. And then afterwards, we started learning more things because we got into parkour we had to develop a lot more upper body strength and different coordination and we had to develop more flexibility so we started getting into uh, more gymnastic type movements we started learning things like ballet we started learning things uh, like kung fu different martial arts and different things to build a well-rounded body that hit each of these components and that's what allowed us to do really well and things like Ninja Warrior, one of the hardest obstacle courses in the world, and also the Navy SEAL Oak course, where we got to go through that and completed it first try. And it wasn't due to doing weights and things like that, it was all due to focusing on these different sections, these different components, and building an athletic body that was versatile and could adapt to pretty much any situation. So Free Dom, to answer your question, Yes, weights can be a great way to enhance athletic performance, but you don't have to use weights. My brother and I don't use weights. Other top athletes don't use weights. What's more important is that you're hitting each of these components with your training. And so if this is the type of training you wanna do, you wanna you know, unlock your full athletic potential and you don't really know where to start or what workouts to start using, or what body weight workouts you want to start using, well then we have a perfect workout for you to get started. It's what we recommend for people getting started who want to build that athletic lean body that's functional. And you can do that by clicking the link in the description. This will take you to our first workout that you can download absolutely free and we'll get you started with your training. So like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also if you enjoyed the Blackboard, this is a new setting for us, if you enjoyed that, uh, let us know and put a comment down below. And if you have any other questions, be sure to put that down below as well, and we will see you in the next video.